All right. Hey, fly fishers. Hot coffee and warm thoughts on this Monday morning sidewalk. I'm finally figuring out the YouTube podcast thing. If it sounds like I'm barely awake, I am. And I slept too late because I was going to have this out by 5, 6 a.m. And I'm just getting started. I hope you all are listening to me this Monday morning, maybe in the restroom stall of the skyscraper you work in in Dallas or Houston or Austin or wherever you are. Um, Now that we may be on our way to a new, more dynamic Monday morning, I want to encourage you to listen on the way to work on your Monday mornings. And may, or if you don't go to work, that's okay too. And uh, maybe I could either give you something to think about or something to look forward to, all for the love of fly fishing. If I can get some listeners, I will definitely make the shift from the website words to sounds for you to ruminate over on the way to work. I hope you took the time to watch or listen to the piece I did uh, about Texas fly fishing clubs. Boy, um, vocal minority got back to me on that. Did actually indirectly. No, didn't have the uh, whatever you want to call it to uh, to get back to me directly. But uh, with almost a hundred thumbs up on that video and no thumbs down. Um, you know, I think people like the video on Texas Fly Fishing Clubs. Uh, I hope you are as disappointed this morning as I am by the Dallas Cowboys. I really don't care. Except that when the Cowboys are doing good in their season, the North Texas lakes are a lot less crowded during games and game weekends. I think the lakes are going to get very crowded with fans, <laughs> disappointed fans, like maybe you are, starting to starting now. The weekends are going to be crowded again on lakes, as if the Cowboys don't even play. This is one of those weeks in Texas. We had a hot weekend, but the heat will break this week, and then it'll heat up again, and then it'll break, and then it'll, I don't know if it'll heat up again or not. You know, the lows at night are cooling the water off, and that's great. We need that to happen, and that's because... I want to spend time on Texoma this year, this winter specifically, because uh, it's about the only game in town, really. I am pretty infatuated with Texoma, and Texoma does abide in the wintertime. That is number one. Number two is the last of the warm water on the Blue River in Oklahoma. That's something I want to do as well. Um, gosh, I hope I can get there. You know, so busy here. I'm just 80, 90 miles away from from the Blue River, and there's no hardly any excuses not to go up there during the week and, and just fight the snakes and give it a try. Reports claim there are all kinds of warm water fish being caught right now in Blue River, Oklahoma. And I'm talking about smallmouth, largemouth, and catfish, you know, and uh, easily it's not a deep river or anything like that, or it's not really too complicated, so you can go there and... Uh, catch these fish on fly we also know that upcoming in november is the stocking time of the blue river and that's when everything switches over let me get a sip of coffee here that's when everything switches over in the blue river to stocker put and take rainbow trout it's uh it's one of those things you know kind of like a rite of passage if you're a a person who is just getting into fly fishing this is something you need to try and you can just pretty much forget about benbow it's uh uh turned into this (laughs) everything i can see the people who go there are to fly fish are brave souls um, there's not a lot of people talking about it like it used to be 10, 15 years ago, and uh, it's definitely um, got a different set of challenges to it now besides catching nice fish in Benbo. I have a, another story coming soon, I think. It's, uh, it's about economics of fly fishing uh, industry. And, uh, you know, the, I did that startup at Los Pescadores on South Padre Island. And that 
business is now up for sale. If you want more information, let me know. If you want a complete fly shop, restaurant, and uh, a bar, and coffee shop, all in one. It's a brilliant concept. Thank you very much. I didn't think of the whole concept, but I definitely uh, had something to do on the fly side and, and the retail side. I'm in process of helping the buyers, so that is that. Contact me for more information. Things related to the U.S. economy and the politics happening now make for intense opinions about what is happening in the fly fishing industry. Back to that. And honestly, I've been sucked into the debate with friends who have different opinions on the fly industry business cycle and why things are really on the downside of the graph right now. If you want my opinion on what ails the fly fishing industry, speak up. Just say, hey, man, tell me all about it. Tell me what you got. And uh, I'd love to debate with anybody about this um, and see what your opinion is on what's ailing the fly fishing industry. It seems pretty simple to me, but then um, economics can be, especially macro, can be pretty simple at times. Look, guys, I hope you enjoy this format. I hope you have a great week wherever you are. We can't forget all those folks suffering from the damage of the two recent hurricanes. So if you have any relief organizations I can include for donations or participation, send them to me. And I will make sure to mention them in the next week. Based on the recovery work I did for Katrina years ago, I can tell you these recovery efforts will be going on for many, many years. Thanks for listening. Please feel free to send in information or even your own audio, G-rated, of course, and fly related of course. And maybe we can fit it in on a Monday morning sidewalk someday soon. All right, guys. Go get them. Have a great week.